third graders. Today we're going to learn about a Japanese artist named Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is best known for her artwork featuring polka dots. In fact, she's sometimes called the polka dot queen. We're going to look at some of her artwork and then we're going to make our own polka dot pumpkin drawing. Okay, let's take a look. Yayoi Kusama was born in Japan in 1929. She was trained in a style of Japanese painting called Nihonga that emphasized traditional materials, traditional methods, and traditional subject matter. But she felt smothered by tradition and was more interested in creating her own new kind of art that reflected her own feelings. She moved to New York City and began making sculptures, paintings, and installation art that featured her beloved polka dots. Okay, third graders. So I have my first example here, and as you can see, I colored part of it with crayon. You're welcome to color part of it, or all of it, or even none of it, and leave it black and white. So we're going to start with drawing the pumpkin, and then we'll add the polka dots in the background. So the first step is to draw a vertical line, that means up and down, in the center. It can be straight be kind of curvy like that, up to you. Just please leave a little bit of room at the top for your stem. Okay, so now I'm going to curve left and down and over until it touches and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Curve up, curve back down, and curve over and let it touch right in the middle. Boop, like that. Okay, I'm going to keep adding those curves, making sure I curve to the left on the left, and I curve to the right on the right, until I'm happy with the size and shape of my pumpkin. I'm pretty happy with that size and shape. You'll notice as I was drawing my curves, I wasn't drawing them all down to the same point on the bottom. So like if this is a straight line, straight-ish, you can see these middle ones come down the furthest. And then here I stopped a little higher and a little higher and a little higher until I got to the very edge and I stopped pretty high up. My goal in doing that was for the bottom of it to look a little curved so that it would help my pumpkin look a little more um, 3D, a little more like it has a curve to it. Okay, so now I'm going to draw my stem just by drawing an oval like that. Please, no perfect ovals. Then I'm going to curve down from the left side of my stem and let it touch. Curve down from the right side of my stem, let it touch. And I have a little bit of empty space um, right behind the stem, so I'm just going to draw a few more curved lines. Those will be the ribs on the pumpkin in the back. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the skinny end of my sharpie. Give my stem a little texture, just for fun, you don't have to. Now I'm going to draw polka dots um, all up and down my ribs. And the one thing I'm going to think about is um, as the rib curves, I want my polka dot to move with that curve. So instead of drawing a line of polka dots straight up and down, my polka dots here are going to go out to the right, into the left, out to the right, into the left. And of course, in areas where my rib is smaller, 
and polka dot's going to get smaller. And in areas where the rib is larger, my polka dot's going to get larger. Okay, so I've got my polka dots in place. Now I just have to think about what I would like in my background. Um, I think I want to keep it pretty simple. I'm going to draw concentric circles. That just means a circle in a circle in a circle. So I have this kind of medium sized circle back here. And I'll do a bigger one bigger one, and I'll just keep adding them until I run out of space. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that pumpkin. I'm just going to color it and then I'll be done. I hope you had fun making your Yaoi Kusama pumpkins, and I will have a new project for you guys next week. Bye!